to realize all the major projects that we are seeing in this country. Among them, of course, is education. Today, when we are judged against our MDGs, especially on education, we are not found wanting. In fact, we surpass some of the MDGs that have been set towards 2015. But coming back to the university, anything tertiary, in fact, including the University of the Gambia, people thought that it cannot happen in the Gambia. Even the, <laughs> the television today that is covering us, you were told that it wasn't possible for the Gambia to have a television. First of all, we don't have the human capital to do it, we don't have the resources, and we cannot do it. We are too small. That's what we were told. Everybody else had television back you. Mark you around our, in West Africa, to give an example, except for the Gambia. But it's as a result of the advent of the July 20th revolution that we had the, the television. In addition, of course, we have tertiary hospitals in this country. Just to give you a fair idea of His Excellency and what he's doing. Of course, you have a resident, I think, consultant here who knows everything that goes on in the Gambia, in addition to infrastructural development in other areas. But coming back to the University of the Gambia, Your Excellency, the UEP, that is where we started. And that's whenever I remember the UEP, Your Excellency, on your behalf, we should thank St. Mary's University, Halifax, Canada. Because they had faith in you, in your vision, when everybody else doubted. And they came and partnered with you and believed in your vision. And indeed, even without a campus, they set up a university of the Gambia. Maybe that's why they had all these odd names that we had thrown at the university. Is it Baiwahu? Is that where you came from? Jangi Olofla Walafanla. So, Jangi Jolof. So, you see, Your Excellency, and as I thank them, I also thank the students who had faith in you. Because other students would say, no, we are not going to that university. Because of all the negative things that have been said about the University of the Gambia, we would rather go abroad for those who can afford it. But unfortunately, the majority of Gambians cannot afford it. And they had faith in you, and they believed in you. And they believed that you, you meant what you said in setting up the University of the Gambia. And today, they haven't regretted. Just like previous speakers have said, they are some of the best. We all travel outside this country. We hear about a Gambian doing well somewhere. I just came from UAE. In one of the sites I visited, I was told about a Gambian student, who's, you and I were there, who is doing very well in, 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 in that facility. That shows that really, once people have faith in a committed leadership as yours, and once people have faith in their country, not putting their faith elsewhere, because people talk about Oxford and all Cambridge and all these big universities. But we can have a Cambridge here in Africa, only if we put our minds to it. And I'm beginning to have hope, looking at all the plans, not just the infrastructure. I'm talking about even the quality of the educational system within that infrastructure. I have no doubt in my mind that it would be one of the best. Because that's what he, His Excellency commits himself to, to give the best to Gambians. What he didn't have, he always says, what I didn't have and what I went through, I wouldn't want Gambians to go through. Especially the young people of this country, who are the future leaders. So he wants the best for them. So my advice is for students also to take advantage of all these facilities being provided by His Excellency the President especially in this university. That's something that we didn't have. That's something that other Gambians didn't have. So they are very lucky people to have this leadership and also to have them provide for the University of the Gambia. I don't know whether some of you know, but most of the fees is being paid by His Excellency himself, the scholarships that he provides. Because he realizes that indeed it's a poor society, he goes out of his way to pay for scholarships, to provide scholarships for Gambians. Not just within the University of the Gambia, because there are some courses that are also not offered in the University of the Gambia, as yet. But looking at here, I have hope, because this is one of the best universities one can ever have. The state-of-the-art facilities, as well as, uh, no doubt, the state-of-the-art educational program under a committed chan vice chancellor and, of course, and his team. So I want to thank His Excellency. We can't thank him enough. We'll be here the whole day thanking him for all that he has done for Gambians. 
But my duty and responsibility is to thank those who believe in him and those who continue to believe in and give him support. I've started with the students because without the students, the students make it a university after all. They are, we will forget about the university. And today they haven't regretted it. And I'm sure the upcoming students would be more encouraged to go into the University of the Gambia. And let me tell you also that the university has a, an international character. Because I think sometimes when I attend the inaugurations or the, the, when students are passing out, I discover that there are other non-Gambians in the university. Cameroonians, quite a few people are coming on board now. Which means the university, other people have faith in the university as well, beyond the source of the Gambia. And that is what a university is supposed to be, to give it an international character. And that is why I always say, when I thank His Excellency the President, I thank the team that has faith in him, whether it be the Senate, the Council, the Vice Chancellor, and his team. We should thank them also for being there and for believing in His Excellency the President. You heard him say it himself, and indeed he's demonstrated it. So we thank the consultants as well. The President had a vision, and you were able to design the vision as he wanted it. Of course, under the guidance of the Vice Chancellor. We should thank you. And because you've designed it this way, I have no doubt in my mind when it comes to the contractors also building it, we'll have the best of the state of the art you know, facility in the Gambia. We thank the people of Farababanta as well. Thank God. Uh, Suleiman, you are here, Combo East. As a result of the University of the Gambia, today your profile is up there. <laughs> so take advantage of the university. Hmm? <laughs> Why? I know, they are rivals, I know that. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm just saying, at least I said Combo East. Now he'll accept it. So, Your Excellency, as I say, we can't thank everybody else enough. The lecturers, I think I've done that, but thank Gambians as well for being behind you, for lending support and believing in their leadership. I think that is critical, irrespective of what people say elsewhere. And that is what we should be doing. For you, you are a Pan-Africanist, there's no doubt about that. You believe that anything good can also happen in Africa. You want to give an other image to Africa, other than all the negativities we hear. There are positive things happening, like the University of the Gambia. This should be reported as progress. But most of the time we report on negative things in Africa. And that is what His Excellency the President and his peers want to change in Africa, under the African Union to see people have a positive look of Africa. Because indeed there are a lot of positive things happening in Africa, and Africa has a lot of potentials. And we always believe, the President believes so too, that Africa would be the next continent at the top of the world. And it can happen. It was there before, because some of you come from the Arab world, you know, we were one of the best in Egypt, you are aware, of those days, when we had the pharaohs, we were at the top. And I have no doubt in mind, that's how the world revolves. We are going to be at the top again. Because of the type of new breed of leaders we have in Africa, like His Excellency the President. So we want to thank you for lending support. And your friendly countries as well. Kuwait, Syria, these are all friends of the Gambia. Tunisia, rather. We are all friends of the Gambia. We want to thank you. And thank your governments for the support. And thank you in particular for believing in His Excellency and lending support. I've seen a lot of beautiful things you've done in Kuwait and in Saudi Arabia and elsewhere. And having seen that, I have no doubt in my mind that you can do the same in the Gambia. I think previous speakers here have said all that needs to be said on such an occasion. I only want to thank you on behalf of His Excellency the President and say we look forward to a speedy implementation of this program. Because anybody who, who sees this knows that it's a marketable project and would be interested to be part of it. So once again, thank you, and may God bless. This is the point I would respectfully invite His Excellency to make a few remarks, but I cannot invite him this time. Your Excellency, this is your baby. This is your shoe. I humbly and respectfully hand over the whole occasion to you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Your Excellency the Vice President, Honorable Secretary General, Minister for Presidential Affairs, Honorable Ministers, our distinguished co consultants, project 
manager, the permanent secretary.